Hey guys, this is student nurse Jonna and today we'll be talking about colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is a cancer that starts in the colon or rectum. Both of these organs are in the lower portion of your digestive system. The American Cancer Society estimates that about 1 in 23 men and 1 in 25 women will develop colorectal cancer during their lifetime. There are stages of colorectal cancer. Stage 0 is the earliest stage and stage 4 is the most advanced stage. Stage 0, also known as carcinoma in situ, in this stage, abnormal cells are only in the inner lining of the colon or rectum. Stage 1, the cancer has penetrated the lining or mucosa of the colon or rectum and may have grown into the muscle layer. It hasn't spread to nearby lymph nodes or to other parts of the body. Stage 2, the cancer has spread to the walls of the colon or rectum or through the walls of the nearby tissues but has it affected the lymph nodes. Stage 3, the cancer has moved to the lymph nodes but not to the other parts of the body. Stage 4, the cancer has spread to the other distant organs such as the liver or the lungs. What causes colorectal cancer? Researchers are still studying the causes of colorectal cancer. Cancer may be caused by genetic mutations either inherited or acquired. These mutations don't guarantee you'll develop colorectal cancer, but they do increase your chances. Some mutations may cause abnormal cells to accumulate in the lining of the colon, forming polyps. These are small, benign growths. Removing these growths through surgery can be a preventive measure, and treated polyps can become cancerous. What are the symptoms of colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer may not present with any symptoms, especially in the early stages, but if you do, this may include constipation, diarrhea, changes in stool color, changes in stool shape such as narrowed stool, blood in the stool, bleeding from the rectum, excessive gas, abdominal cramps, and abdominal pain. In the late stages, symptoms are more noticeable. In addition to the above symptoms, you might also experience excessive fatigue, unexplained weakness, unintentional weight loss, changes in your stool that last longer than a month, a feeling that your bowels won't completely empty, and vomiting. If colorectal cancer spreads to other parts of your body, you may also experience jaundice or yellow eyes and skin, swelling in the hands or feet, breathing difficulties, chronic headaches, blurry vision, and bone fractures. Who's at risk for colorectal cancer? Fixed risk factors, which are unavoidable and can't be changed. These are age. Chances of developing this cancer increase after you reach the age of 50. A prior history of colon polyps, a prior history of bowel diseases, a family history of colorectal cancer, and having certain genetic syndromes such as familial adenomatous polyposis. Modifiable risk factors. These are risk factors that are avoidable. This means you can change them to decrease your risk of developing colorectal cancer. This includes being overweight or having obesity, being a smoker, being a heavy drinker, having type 2 diabetes, having a sedentary lifestyle, and consuming a diet high in processed meats. How is colorectal cancer diagnosed? This starts by getting information about your medical and family history, physical exam, pressing on your abdomen or perform a rectal exam to determine whether lumps or polyps are present, fecal testing, blood testing, sigmoidoscopy, colonoscopy, x-ray, and CT scan. What are the treatment options for colorectal cancer? These treatments include surgery, colostomy, which may be temporary or permanent, Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy drugs used to treat colorectal cancer include capicitabine, fluororacil, and oxaliplatin. Radiation and other medications which are approved by the Food and Drug Administration to treat colorectal cancer. This includes bevacizumab, ramosirumab, nevolumab, and ipilimumab. They can treat metastatic or late-stage colorectal cancer that doesn't respond to other types of treatment and has spread to other parts of the body. Nursing Interventions for Colorectal Cancer 
administer chemotherapy agents as ordered, provide care for the client receiving chemotherapy, provide care for the client receiving radiation therapy, provide care for the client with bowel surgery, educate patient or client about certain risk factors for colorectal cancer, educate patient or client about lifestyle factors that may contribute to having colorectal cancer and how to help reduce the overall risk of developing this disease. This includes by decreasing the amount of red meat you eat, avoiding processed meat, such as hot dogs, eating more plant-based foods, decreasing dietary fat, exercising daily, losing weight if your doctor recommends it, quitting smoking, reducing alcohol consumption, decreasing stress, and managing pre-existing diabetes. What's the long-term outlook for this condition? When it's caught early, colorectal cancer is treatable. With early detection, most people live at least another 5 years after diagnosis. If the cancer doesn't return in that time, there is a very low chance of recurrence, especially if you had early stage disease. So that's all for now for colorectal cancer. I hope you learned something. This is student nurse Jonna, thanking you for listening and watching.